and welcome to Adventures in Pixie Land. This is going to be your weekly reading from December 20th to December 27th. This space has been cleared and these decks have been shuffled and cut with your energy in mind, so we are ready to jump in. But before we do, let's handle the busy work. Please do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell below so you will know when Leo content is uploaded. Leo content comes out every single Tuesday. If you're feeling my vibe and would like a personal reading, you can find my contact information in the description box below. If you're really feeling my vibe and you would like to subscribe, you can find a link to my Patreon account in the description box below. So a little bit, oh, Patreon subscribers get a certain number of free monthly personal readings based upon subscription level. Some astrology. So. We just went through that intense conjunction there between Venus and Capricorn and the Scorpio moon. And hopefully that didn't get you into any yelling matches with any romantic partners where people were screaming back and forth. Um, or, you know, you weren't overly concerned with uh, your physical appearance or the beautiness of your home. Okay, because those are all things Venus touches. On the 20th, you got Descent Jupiter in Aries, right, for the next year. So it wasn't Pisces, okay? So Jupiter wasn't really making any conjunctions going forward. It wasn't, it was dreaming up things without, you know, dreaming up luck, but without necessarily bringing into mass manifest. But Aries is an action taker. So it absolutely brings things into focus that way. On December 21st, we enter Capricorn season. But that Jupiter is square, uh, that, that Capricorn. So um, don't overpromise things because we might have a tendency to do so. All right, on the 23rd, we have a new moon in Capricorn, okay? Which means practicality is going to be key and you should be setting your future intentions. Think about your goals for next year already. Mercury in Capricorn is going to be sextile, Neptune in Pisces, so imagination is going to be the key. Do something creative with your day. On the 25th, the moon is going to go into Aquarius, so you're going to feel really in tune with society. So all that peace, love, and happiness, all that uh, joy to the world and goodwill towards fellow man is going to be abundant. On the 26th, you're going to have the moon in Aquarius, interacting with the, all those signs in Capricorn. So you should be looking for a blend of the traditional with the new. Don't try to stick to just what's traditional. You know, the blended is going to be better for you. On the 27th and the 28th, the moon will be in Pisces. So you're going to have really, really high intuition, right? And your imagination is going to be strong. So go with that. Now on the 29th, the moon is in Aries and Mercury goes retrograde into Capricorn, so people are going to be pissy. And anytime Mercury goes retrograde, communication is hosed. You need your active listening skills and you need to verify everything you think you're supposed to do. If somebody says, you know, I want you to do that thing, repeat back to them exactly what you think they want you to do so they can tell you if that's what they want. Otherwise, you're going to have problems. So, let's jump in. Leo, December 20th. Wow. These cards are very talkative. Leo, December 20th through the 27th. 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 Okay. Now I will clarify these cards, but before I do. Past, present, near future, someone you, you to someone, balance, outcome, summary. In your past, you had a choice to make. And this is, the King of Wands is indeed a card of Leo. It can be any of the other fire signs. It is also a card of Cancer, but it's likely just you. You had a choice to make, and you needed to communicate that choice. Page of Cups, you were communicating with the other person. That could have been an apology. If you owed one to one of those somebody, then you gave it. And you're, 
current, uh, present moment here, this is uh, the star. It's a card of Aquarius, in case you're interacting with one of those. But uh, this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest. There is no gender in tarot. Okay. Uh, this is also a card that's an element of destiny and a card of wish fulfillment. So, near future, five of swords. I mean, look at that dude. He's got a headache. He's just frustrated. There is stress there. This one person, this person's happy. He's sad. This person's all up in his ear. It's people running their mouth. Um, six, uh, you see, you the, the, this is a card of Gemini, the lover. So it doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. It could be a professional one. It also could be a choice. Because the Gemini used to be, this used to be card, called the card of choice here. Someone to you, three of swords, they're heartbroken. You, you're feeling defensive. Balance uh, here is found in either an ending or a renewal. Right, this lady doesn't give zero Fs. I mean, look at her. She gives zero Fs. All these people are holding one. She says, I don't care. Do what you want. Five of Wands, again, card of conflict, competition, gossip. Gossip, gossip, gossip. This is people being all up in your business. You should tell them to stay on it. Ten of Swords, Nine of Cups, Ten of Wands. Feeling of betrayal, focusing on one's own happiness, and setting down a burden that wasn't yours to start off with. You don't want to carry around somebody else's burdens, Leah. It's not cool. Let's get some clarification. What is this? What is this? I didn't even get a chance to answer the question. What is this judgment card about in Leo's past? The Emperor. The King of Pentacles. What is this judgment card about? Knight of Pentacles. That's a lot of people. Okay, so this is a card of Aries. Could it also be any father? Or a boss. You know, person of a position of authority, a judge. Especially with the judgment card here. It could be a court case. Uh, King of Pentacles that is a, any earth sign. A Capricorn, Virgo. Heavy on the Taurus, also a card of Aries. And the Knight of Pentacles, of course, can be any earth sign. But heavy on the Virgo... And is a card of Leo. Did you take somebody to court? Either way, this is a slow moving energy in the Knight of Pentacles. So maybe you had interactions, you had to make a choice about somebody because they were just taking too damn long. Some boss, some official. Could be a romantic partnership. Take it as it resonates. What is this King of Wands about in Leo's past? Nine of Swords. What is this King of Wands about in Leo's past? The judgment. What is this Nine of Wands about in Leo's past? That is too many cards. I'll let you see him, though. Four of Pentacles, Three of Cups, the Empress. It's a desire for a reconciliation holding on too tight to a Divine Feminine. What is this King of Wands about in Leo's past? Queen of Cups. That's any water sign. Uh, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, heavy on the Cancer, also a card of Gemini. You are all up in your head. It's a nightmare situation with this choice. Whatever this choice was, this slow moving energy, you had, you were up in your head about it. Queen of Cups. If you're not interacting with one of those signs, then you needed to use your intuition about the choice you were making. Had to wing it there a little bit, did you? What is this page of cups about in Leo's past? The sun. What is this page of cups about in Leo's past? That is your energy. Page of wands. What is this page of cups about? Ten of cups. Hmm. So it's definitely you making this communication. Yeah. that sun energy some kind of apology ready to move out into the world ready to move on maybe ready to restart something it's going to be hard to tell here without further clarification but ten of cups that's with community usually it's home life but it doesn't have to be Happy home, happy life is what that usually represents. So it's possible that you really needed to very, you know, really communicate with maybe with your family itself. 
you need to speak with people very urgently in this community about something. You had to illuminate something, possibly apologize for something. What is this star card about in Leo's present moment? Eight of Wands, what is this star card about? Moon, what is this star card about? Ten of Swords. Oof. Okay. So this Ten of Swords, it might not have been what you were looking for here, but it is an element of destiny. And there's things you still don't quite know. That's the Pisces energy being up in your feelings. And that's, you're communicating about this. You're communicating what you don't like. And that's a good thing. You should tell people what you don't like. What is this Five of Swords about in Leo's near future? The Magician, what is this Five of Swords about in Leo's near future? The Fool, what is this Five of Swords about? King of Cups. Again, any water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is heavy on the uh, Scorpio. It's also a card of Libra. This is a card of Gemini and Virgo. Full is Aries energy. Whatever this situation is here, where someone feels like they're possibly or have been bested, they were manifesting this, this fresh start, whoever this person is. They were manifesting this. Maybe they needed to have this fight, this argument, this stress. The stress needed to happen with this person so that you could manifest a fresh start. Fixed signs can be stubborn. We don't, you know, I'm a Taurus, so I'm a fixed sign. We don't like to move unless we want to. What is this uh, lover's card about in Leo's near future? Three of Wands. What is this lover's card about in Leo's near future? King Knight of Wands. What is this lover's card about in Leo's near future? Justice. Okay, so justice is Libra energy. It also has to do with anything to do with the court system. Or uh, marriages, contracts, documents, that kind of stuff. Legal things. Uh, three of Wands, that's looking towards the future. Nine of Wands, it can be any fire sign, including yourself. But it's uh, heavy on the Sagittarius, also a card of Aries. But heavy on the Scorpio. In case there's a Scorpio you're interacting with. So something is being brought back into balance. Nine of Wands is very in and out energy. And that's not, that's not balanced. But you're looking towards your future, trying to make a decision, and you're seeking out this balance. What is this Three of Swords about in Leo's future? Eight of Swords, what is this Three of Swords about in Leo's future? Three of Pentacles, what is this Three of Swords about? Leo, the Hermit. <laughs> so this is Virgo energy. Somebody, Whoever you're interacting with, they are heartbroken and they are up in their head. And they have maybe uh, gone quiet with the sermon energy. They have gone within to try to find the answer. Three of Pentacles, this is somebody in official relationship. If you look at this card, the imagery that's on it, they could be getting married. They could be doing a baby blessing. This person could just be selling the products. You don't know exactly what they're doing there. But you do know that with this type of architecture that's on here, with the tray foil, with these designs, this would be an official building. So this is an official relationship. Okay, I'm not saying they necessarily have to be a marriage. right? That would be <coughs> an example of an official relationship. But it doesn't have to be a marriage. Could be a boss. This is uh, someone that... If you didn't want to interact with them anymore, you would have to physically do something different. Okay. You couldn't go to that workplace. You have to avoid that, that bar. You have to avoid, you have to, you have to get a divorce. You have to break up. You have to see other people. You have to do other things. Can't hang out with those friends, right? It's an official relationship. What is this seven of wands about in Leo's uh, future? Two of Swords, what is this Seven of Wands about in Leo's future? Knight of Cups, what is this Seven of Wands about? <coughs> All right. So, this is in the you position. So, you're feeling defensive, okay? It's not necessarily a bad thing. This person done did you wrong. You should feel defensive. Again, this is Minor Arcana, Justice card. So, 
So card of Libra, card of balance, being indecisive. Knight of Cups. A, a need to, maybe the, it could be this, all right, so Knight of Cups, any water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, heavy on the Pisces, also a card of Aquarius. This person could be approaching you, but it's in the you position. So you could be making this offer because you worry about a missed opportunity. I mean, that's really what this kind of strikes me as because this is going to be a card of missed opportunity. You were feeling indecisive about something. Not too sure about the decision you previously made. This person expresses their heartache. You feel, uh, you know, defensive about it. And you're going to want to explain something to them about your indecision because you're worried you missed an opportunity here. What is this uh, death card about in Leo's balance? Chariot, Wheel of Fortune, what is this death card about? Ace of Pentacles, so this is a rebirth. Wheel of Fortune, it's a Pisces, I believe, also Sagittarius, yeah. Pisces, Sagittarius energy. Chariot is Cancer energy. Ace of Pentacles is a fresh start. So either something was an element of divine timing and you ended it and moved forward and that's how you got your Ace of Pentacles. Or there's a rebirth because it's, there was an element of divine timing and it's finally time to move forward and now you have your Ace of Pentacles. What is this Five of Wands about in Leo's outcome? Four of Pentacles. What is this Five of Wands about in Leo's outcome? Ten of Pentacles. What is this Five of Wands about? Ten of Wands. But you also hear, have here in your summary. So they really do mean the Ten of Wands. I would look at ten, ten, ten as an angel number. Or minimally ten, ten. Because you've got two ten, tens down here and then two ten, tens up here. Five of Wands. Also 55. Look up angel number 55. So this is, again, this is other people interfering, gossip, holding on, this burden being put onto you by your community. Ten of Pentacles, it could be work, it could be home. It's a, again, it's, it's a community, any community. Okay, take your pick. I don't care what community you have yourself involved with, in person, online, who cares, doesn't matter. These people are running their mouth. Okay. And they're holding on real tight. And they're making you feel like you're burdened. You're about to drop these burdens. What is this Ten of Swords about in Leo's summary? Seven of Swords. What is this Ten of Swords about in Leo's summary? Six of Swords. What is this Ten of Swords about in Leo's summary? Queen of Pentacles. That's any Earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, heavy on the Capricorn. Also a card of Sagittarius. Seven of Swords, you feel betrayed because you were lied to. Lying, stealing, cheating, manipulating. Somebody not be on the on the up and up. You're ready to move towards calmer waters. You're, you're done with this betrayal. Queen of Pentacles, this could be an earth sign. Because you did have that heavy. Could be an earth sign that did this to you. It's not cool. Not cool. What is this Nine of Cups about in Leo's summary? What is this Nine of Cups about in Leo's summary? Ace of Wands, what is this Nine of Cups about? Six of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Page of Swords. You're going to find out some sort of truth. Some sort of truth, possibly about an imbalance. And whatever this truth is, you're going to like it. Nine of Cups, you're going to be in a state of happiness. And you're going to have a fresh start. Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Wands. In one reading. Hmm. What is this? Ten of Wands about in Leo's summary. Three of Swords. What is this Ten of Wands about in Leo's summary? Five of, of Pentacles. What is this Ten of Wands about in Leo's summary? Page of Cups. Oh, there's more than one card there. Page of Cups. Queen of Swords. So again, Ten of Wands, Three of Swords. This burden here, whoever this person is here, this official person with the Hermit energy, the one who's ghosted you, right? They're the one putting the burden on you. It's their burden, not yours. They feel left out in the cold. Or they left you feeling out in the cold with Three of Swords, heartache, right? Queen of Swords can be any air sign. It's Gemini, 
Aquarius, Libra, heavy on the Libra. Queen of Swords also a part of Virgo. Some kind of communication coming in there. Possibly an apology. Alright. Let's get you some advice. Advice for Leo, December 20th through the 27th. Advice for Leo, December 20th through the 27th. Mm. Okay, so remember that worries are prayers that we don't even want answered, okay? Spend your time focusing on what you can do. Don't spend your time focusing on what you can't do. That Eight of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, it's feeling left out in the cold, feeling sad. You need to use your intuition. That's cancer energy right there. You need to use your intuition about this feeling left out in the cold and about what work you can do to help you move past this feeling, this Five of Pentacles. Or this other people's Five of Pentacles. If you feel like you've missed an opportunity with somebody and you want to have some kind of reconciliation with that person, you need to be willing to put in the work. You need to hear why they feel left out in the cold and put in the work. Use your intuition about it, but put in the work towards it. Or if it's you feeling left out in the cold, they need to be doing that. Hold your boundaries. If you've got a yes or no question you'd like answered, this is the time to think it because this is the deck that does it. Messages for Leo. Be assertive. Messages for Leo. Not the right time. Messages for Leo. Compromise. You know, don't let your pride be get in the way. Be assertive. Tell them what you want. But don't be prideful. Gonna have to compromise. This is not the right time, apparently. Advice for Leo, December 20th through the 27th. Surrender to the Divine, full moon. Advice for Leo, December 20th through the 27th. Confidence is your key to success, new moon in Leo. Advice for Leo, December 20th through the 27th. <coughs> your hard work is paying off, new moon in Capricorn. What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck. Be bold to make the first move, cardinal moon. A fiery climax approaches, full moon in Aries. Hold your vision, fixed moon. Conclusions are within reach, full moon eclipse. Let's get you a fairy message. Message for Leo. Fairy time. Fairy time differs to human clock time. Connect with us and we will weave more hours into a joyous day, diminish the length of the sad times, and always make time for what you must do. Wow. Wow, that is fantastic. <laughs> wow. Have more happiness during the day. Sun card indeed, Leo. Well, I hope that helps because it is what I have for you. So just remember as you go about the world this week, Leo, that you are a child of the universe, no less than the trees and the stars. And you have a right to be here. <laughs>